All right, I hooked up a small little AC unit so that we could see, you know, the volts coming out of this thing and the watts. So we got 1482, 1492, right around there. Um, and then at 27.3, 27.4 amps, right around there. That's coming through the charge controller right here. Um, but it's showing over here, you know, before it gets to the charge controller, it's 63 volts, you know, 24.87 amps. And uh, we're getting about 1575 watts straight into before it actually hits the inverter. And this is the little um, setup that I had that was letting me know what I was getting with the um, inverter charger here um, before it, you know, when it before it caught fire. So as you can see, still well below. That's with an AC unit running. 27.6 amps and right around 15 1500 watts everything's well below their specifications and um, that's uh, Sun Power Gold or Sun Gold Power however you say they're uh, that company's name they have no honor so it don't matter um, what's actually coming in you know, the max with full sun, which I did not even have the day that this thing burnt up. Um, it was raining, you know, and so um, there you go. That's what you get. You got 28.3 amps. That's the max right there I've seen at right about 1,500 watts. At this thing, 40 amp. MPPT on the APV uh, Sun Power Gold unit was supposed to handle and 63 volts or yeah 63.10 you know over here right around 15 to 1600 watts that's what you get so if you decide to buy one of these good luck because you won't get the warranty they don't have any honor the company they refuse to uh, replace it. They want you to fix it yourself, and they and you also pay them to get the parts on their full warranty thing here. Only had it two days, like I said, and it caught fire. Basically, fried most of the circuit boards because of that. 